for joining us this morning. My name is Rosalind So. I'm the area director for the Navajo Area Indian Health Service. This is our second effort to work with the, our people regarding our resilience and, and returning back to, to the world that we currently are, will be living in. Uh, the theme of our uh, program today, the day of prayer, is uh, rebalancing resistant, remaining res resist resilient and balance with prayer. Yad e Ashkaha Silto Shikedo Shidne Yad e Bene. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. It is a beautiful day. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone as you start coming on board and, and, and being with us this morning as we talk about um, our prayers. We are going to pray today. We are very thankful for many things. So, as you can see on the screen, there is a flyer spring day of prayer as um, Rosalind just spoke of. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, Rosalind, would you like to introduce yourself? Sorry about that. Thank you. Again, good morning, everyone. Rosalind, so they sheet in Shlom, Wisconsin, Bashishin, Logadashiche, and Leslana Dashanala. Thank you and good morning, everyone. Yat Eshe Bija, thank you very much for, for co hosting with me this morning. I wanted to um, just provide a little bit of information before we get started here. We're going to um, carry out an agenda this morning that's inclusive of, of leadership messages. And we also have um, several individuals, uh, Mr. Avery Denny, uh, Reverend Nels, and then also um, Gerald King, who will provide prayers this morning. And uh, I just want to say thank you for being with us. And it is 9.03, uh, Rosalind. So I think that we can go ahead and move forward with our agenda this morning, unless you have anything else you wanna cover before we get started. I have not. Uh, with that, then let's go right into our invocation. We're asking uh, Tylee Tom, who's part of our youth uh, council to uh, do a prayer for us. Tylee? Before, before Tylee does come online, I just wanted to say real quickly, Rosalind, let's, um, I think what would be appropriate to get us started to, thank you very much is, Maybe we can take about 30 to 45 minutes uh, for just silence. So everyone out there, if you could, you know, put down your phones, maybe try to minimize as much noise. And let's just take about 30 to 45 minutes of just, or seconds of just a moment of silence. As you all know, this week has been quite heavy for some, but also it's spring and there's renewal, there's new growth out of the hardship that we have to deal with sometimes, there's always growth. So let's take a few seconds. Thank you very much for honoring that time with us. Now we will move right over to Mr. Tylee Tom. Tylee, I think you are on mute.
Yep. We were in charge of planning. So. Tylee? Tylee, I think oh, you want hello. to see. Good morning. Uh, yeah, 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 Hayos Kas no hot is no hot sui chahas his. Sisna genus or this top or sleep the bensa. This now or this each old ear. She che hatch eight here, she che hatch air one. Yos go is Sashama, son of the Hishama. Not art go is key, not art sweet eight. Yodel class eight is a class eight. Total canash chin, two biage. Cadadin a skin, unit eight. Conea, <laughs> Inch <laughs> Ad Pata has zit on Jono Coea, Don Hedes Linda than his other honey yet, or let Bebe, Etanit, Ed or let Yotin, as it has any your sad or in his one lord or the Coea Hale, ya coea de in the Nata Honosa, Coea should Nikit Sota Dosses Nikit Eta Don Nito Don Hitobe, Nikit E, Nikit Hatata Dots than Hitan Hito Need Coea, Epic Alpin, Sate Case of Ben Hizad, or Ben Hinatan Tin Coea at John <laughs> But ah, eh, ya, to this and Johnny yet, or in John Locoy and Nikis now, your cart or let's go on the kitchen. Hey, who's on the left? What, eh, who's on a hustle, who's on a hustle, who's on a hustle, who's on a hustle? Akia Hat and Saga Shiaja, Tali, thank you so much for providing that, um, those beautiful words of prayer this morning as we move forward with our agenda. Akia Hat Shiaja, thank you very much. Oh, Nikita, President, I would like to go ahead and um, move the agenda over to you at this time, Shiaj. All right, thank you, uh, Yvonne, and thank you to everyone that's involved in putting on this event. We'll go to the proclamation reading, which the Vice President will do, and then we'll go into the signing of the proclamation. Vice President. Chairperson, yes, not at all. As I read this here, um, we appreciate you all for joining us this morning. And so uh, without further ado, uh, Vice President Liza here, Comanche Mishle, Tohana, Bosses Team, Do Comanche Deshiche, Ashti Deshanelli. It's good to be with you this morning. The Navajo Nation Proclamation, recognized on March 19, 2021, as Navajo Nation Day of Prayer, in honor and memory of all lives lost to COVID 19. 
The Navajo Nation marks one year since the first confirmed case of COVID-19 reported on March 17, 2020. Since the start of the pandemic, the Navajo Nation has had 29,986 total confirmed cases. Day of Prayer, we call upon the Navajo people from all faiths to join in prayer and honor and remember all of the lives lost, to ask for strength and comfort for all of the grieving families and to ask for strong physical and mental health and continued blessings for our communities, healthcare workers, frontline warriors, and our entire nation during the COVID-19 pandemic. Whereas the Navajo Nation recognizes the hardships, sacrifices, and losses that our people continue to endure and we pray for protection and recovery from COVID-19, and we recognize and thank our healthcare workers and frontline workers who put themselves in harm's way to help our Navajo people to save countless lives. And whereas the Navajo people say, so does it to encourage all people from all beliefs to pray in earnest as their faiths direct them as we seek guidance and spiritual well-being and pray for harmony spiritual healing and resiliency to overcome adversities, especially in our fight against COVID-19. And whereas the Navajo people are grateful for those who have dedicated their lives to providing hope and vision for a healthy nation. We pray for those in public service and we pray for wisdom, humility, knowledge to move our nation forward. And whereas the Navajo Nation encourages people of all faiths to participate in the Navajo Nation Day of Prayer for our nation to remain strong and resilient. And now, therefore, I, Jonathan Nez, President of the Navajo Nation, I, Myron Lizer, Vice President of the Navajo Nation, I, Seth Damon, Speaker of the Navajo Nation Council, and I, Joanne B.J., Chief Justice of the Navajo Nation, do hereby proclaim March 19th, 2021 as Navajo Nation Day of Prayer and hereby order all flags on the Navajo Nation to be flown at half staff in honor and memory of the lives lost to COVID-19 on March 19th, 2021. Proclaim this 19th day of March, 2021. Mr. President. Our speaker of the Navajo Nation Council and our Madam Chief Justice is unable to be here, but they did sign the proclamation prior and we thank them for their support and their work as well throughout this pandemic and protecting our people and saving lives. So now we are the leadership remarks. Uh, my name is Jonathan Nesiate. I can eat needle this Chicago, Chicana, I didn't. Raisin of Snaggy do, than can nothing. So, uh, he the more Zlingy do, he he tuddy, he get a cut in the initia. The more be scanning at a ya cone question, the more be. The vision of uh, health, yeah. health, mental health services, the more the cone question, the more the cone he in there. I need to see the jade on him at dust. Just con father who is net or creature could all and then the Jacon Dale. Then the Anishigi, the 
Banda Huizna, Jokon Asa, the media, Doba, Nakir Nesna, Tinova, and Tin Sepin, Nes, Yikani, Nakon, it's not a Dajit, the image, and now of the to aid of bed evening, then Kagin, the Anashanta, to come for a Ado Abe, Natch, a teaching that initiation aids with Zimbaho after less. Corn he jay dust the lamp, he knit dust the lamp, he dots it. So the Zimbe Ado Naso, Nane Cato, the shop, the more Zneggy Asha Anache, the Cousin Skagia Ishni, the Chastoit in Nreishni Ado Sashi Acorn, he gained his nab that was not like each a dusk. Clay and the cheese, which in the has tea. A shingle teacher, but so deals in dollars. To aid in Yaho at teaching, she gave us a name. But he not shame he called the film. A dog called our creature, she gave us a name, and had so deals in order. Shana could all vice president, Myron Lizer, Dover Sun, Daddy Lizer. A dog could all he gained his name, but so deals in order. Hot our aid of Hinanish, the day Naha Ado Kodo Miss Navajo. A creature called Lego, a car Nadlobo, Chiyan than they knew, Todan they knew. Doctor Fowler got Kodo, Nahan, we had your egg on his chair, not sent your muck, but the deep no. The shay should dare you with the sneeze out on them. The shay what on he had a hot up. Your money hitch it, just here. ก็ตัวอันนั้นชื่อเดชะชมานาลองที่จะยัดเขียวมันนะเอาสัตว์ตาเชี่ยวโยบเกณฑ์ได้ทันเลยจะเอ๋นั่นที่นั่นเอ
29,987 have caught the virus and many have uh, healed. But there are some that have long-term health issues because of the virus and we pray for them today. The Navajo Department of Health has been on the forefront with the Unified Command Group, the Health Command Operation Centers, I Indian Health Services. I want to acknowledge everybody that's on the program today, starting with Rosalind So, Yvonne Key Jellison, who's been helping facilitate these discussions, the Navajo Nation Mental Health Task Force. Tylee Tom, thank you for the prayer this morning, beautiful prayer. And it is a beautiful day. And the proclamation that we read today may help heal may help unify our nation into moving forward. The pandemic is still here. We still need to wear our masks. We still need to social distance. We still need to wash our hands with soap and water, use hand sanitizer, and stay at home as much as we can. We're not out of this pandemic yet, even though we may have received our vaccination. Navajo Nation has received 221,325 vaccinations. 187,096 have gone into the arms of our Navajo people. 74,188 have received their full vaccination, ladies and gentlemen. And that's 84.5% of what we received gone into the arms of our Navajo people. First of many jurisdictions throughout the country and maybe throughout the world having a high percentage like that. And I want to thank the Navajo people for looking at the greater good in getting these vaccines, not just thinking of themselves, but thinking for their families and thinking of their communities and their Navajo people. And today, we honor and we remember those lives that we've lost throughout this pandemic. But it's also a day of resilience. You know, people counted us out. People said, you know, take out tribes. But you know what? We are still standing here today, ladies and gentlemen, one year later. And it's because of each and every one of you, the Navajo people, that have listened to the leaders, listened to healthcare experts, that we are going to get through this pandemic. Just as we got through many tough times in our history, the long walk, many of these viruses that come into the nation, and now COVID-19. And today we unify in the day of prayer, and we just thank the administration, the previous administration, and this administration for their hard work for all U.S. citizens. And today, we honor. We are honored to have a statement from the President of the United States, Mr. Joe Biden. And I'll read that to you. And I want to say a special thank you to Powi Rivera for assisting the Navajo Nation in this message. March 19, 2021. And it's written to the Navajo Nation, Window Lock, Arizona. Today, Jill and I stand with the Navajo Nation as we remember and honor the precious lives lost to COVID-19. We share our sincere thanks to the healthcare professionals, frontline workers, and countless others who have served their communities with incredible courage and resilience in the face of this deadly pandemic. The coronavirus has denied us so many of the rituals that helped us cope and honor those we love. It has taken away elders and tribal leaders who were not only parents and grandparents, but caretakers and guardians of, of our culture, of your culture, I'm sorry, and to deprive them and their communities of so much. Final, Traditions of sacred cultures on sacred lands, final rights and proper 
home goings with family members, sharing stories and love with one another. Together, we must remember those we lost and those who are left behind. It will take all of us in partnership with tribal nations to overcome this time of loss and build back our communities even stronger. Tribal nations and indigenous communities have faced a disproportionate impact from the pandemic and have also shown incredible leadership during one of the most difficult times in our history. In my administration, tribal nations will always have a seat at the table. And I look forward to our continued work together. May God bless all those who have perished, their loved ones left behind in our country. And signed by President Joe Biden and also the First Lady Jill Biden, Dr. Jill Biden. We thank President Biden for showing his support for our Navajo Nation Day of Prayer event today and for his administration support. In early February, President Biden issued a major disaster declaration. We've also worked closely with his staff in the White House on many issues, including the vaccine rollout. So we are very grateful for the support of President Biden and Vice President Harris. Next, I want to introduce a very special guest, a good friend of mine, who is joining us live from Washington, D.C. She is our fierce leader, former Congresswoman of New Mexico and newly confirmed United States Secretary of Interior. She is a trailblazer. She's the first Native American woman to be elected into Congress, first Native American to be nominated as a cabinet member, first Native American to be sworn in as Secretary of Interior. She is taking time away from her very busy schedule to join us today in one of her first speeches as Secretary of Interior. I want to introduce to you our good friend, Secretary of Interior, Deb Holland. Thank you, President Nez and, um, and Vice President Lizer. I'm so happy to be with you. Hello, everyone. Very grateful for the invitation to be with you this morning to honor those that the Navajo Nation has lost to this terrible, terrible pandemic and to express our support uh, to, to their families, to your families, to the tribal government. Uh, I, I, am, I, am, I love the Navajo Nation. Some of you know that I've spent, I've had many, many trips uh, across the Navajo Nation um, over the past several decades, and um, I, I'm sorry I can't be with you in person. Um, but I, I recognize the importance of this event and appreciate the opportunity to say a few words this morning. This pandemic has caused so much pain for so many people across the United States, but I know it has hit the Navajo Nation especially hard. This virus has taken more than 539,000 539, Americans from us. One out of every 438 of those people were citizens or residents of the Navajo Nation. I want you to know that the nation is grieving the loss of, of every single person on the Navajo Nation during this pandemic. And we're praying for comfort and strength for their families for all of your families and all of your communities. We are also standing with tribal communities across the country, which have been disproportionately harmed by COVID-19. That disproportionate impact on American Indians and Alaska Natives is true, even within the Department of the Interior, where 80% of our employees who have died from this virus have worked in our Indian Affairs bureaus. The Department of the Interior and other federal agencies are working with leaders and public health professionals at Navajo and in other communities to save lives 
and stop this pandemic. Together with the Indian Health Service, FEMA, and the Department of Treasury, we're working to implement the President's American Rescue Plan to get vaccines, resources, and $31 billion out to Indian country. This past year has been incredibly painful for all of us. The pandemic has been revealing. It has brought out the worst impulses in many people, but it has also brought out the best in more of us. We've seen that with the Navajo Nation, where leaders like Dr. Jill Jim have pulled together Navajo Nation resources, federal agencies, and community members to get people vaccinated and save lives. We've seen that with community leaders on Navajo who've organized mutual aid networks to get water, food, and supplies to our elderly people and people in need. Across the country, Indian tribes have worked with federal, state, and local agencies to keep people safe. In many regions, we've seen tribes outpace other governments when it comes to getting people vaccinated both on and off of tribal lands. I'm so grateful for the work of the Navajo Nation's leaders, President Nez, Speaker Seth Damon, members of the 24th Navajo Nation Council, Chief Justice Joanne Jane, Vice President Lizer, your tireless leadership has been an example to so many people across this country. I am grateful for the strength of the people of the Navajo Nation and for your compassion. While we have so much work ahead of us, it's important to acknowledge and honor those we have lost. And, that, and I'm so grateful for this event today. I want you to know that our prayers are with them, with their families, with all of you, with the Navajo Nation and all Americans who are mourning right now. And I thank you again for inviting me here today. And I look forward uh, to seeing um, so many of you in person uh, when at last we have a healthy country again. And thank you again for inviting me. Thank you, Ms. Holland. It is an honor and a blessing to have you be a part of our agenda today. Thank you very much. Adonana Shiyaj, Ajay, Mr. Nez, President Nez, I would like to ask that we bring um, Vice President Lizer to the podium. First Lady. First Lady, Pifoya Nez, I just wanted to say thank you to Secretary Holland for the words that she expressed. It is always uh, good to hear um, and be acknowledged across Indian country by people in positions such as hers and to exemplify the role of women across uh, Indian country for us. So I thank you again, Secretary Holland. And I'd like to introduce uh, the Vice President of the Navajo Nation, Myron Lyser. Yeah, First Lady, uh, Mr. President, uh, Stabo, all those here, um, Madam Justice Jane and Speaker Damon. Yeah. Uh, also, like to take the time while I have it to uh, recognize uh, Yvonne Key Billison, who's uh, um, moderating, and also Rosalind So as well for the work that you all are doing. Rosalind, our Director of Navajo Area IHS here, and uh, Yvonne Kibelson, a key staff member in our cabinet of the Ms. Lizer administration. Um, also, uh, I'll give a short um, uh, speech here and um, in honor of uh, the event that we're observing today, but I'd also like to uh, uh, welcome and uh, introduce um, our traditional practitioner, Avery Denny, um, from our Diné. Atafli Association, also uh, the, representing the faith-based portion here is Reverend Dr. John R. Nels from Matisto, Arizona, Nazarene uh, affiliation there, and also uh, our Native American church contingent, Gerald King, a traditional practitioner from the Department of Behavioral and Mental Health Services here on the Navajo Nation. And so uh, thank you again. Yeah. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to speak here and thank you uh, Secretary, Madam Secretary Deb Holland for your kind words and, 
uh, the honor of the, the Navajo Nation here. And thank you for your leadership as well. And uh, also President Joe Biden and uh, Vice President uh, Harris as well. Uh, this is a, a, a landmark uh, historic achievement and a, an event here as the nation honors those that have gone and um, passed into the other, the spirit world uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, this proclamation that President and I signed, you think about it, the proclamation means to proclaim and certainly the words of leaders should be honored and the words of leaders should matter for its people and its constituents. Uh, for all those that ascribe to the proper order of leadership that is heavenly ordained, we believe, God created the and God has ordered a set in time where the leadership has uh, been placed, has been uh, uh, given, has been ordered. And so heavenly ordained proclamations mean more than just words, those that honor and those that uh, honor our creator in his ways, uh, they are blessed. Scripture says so that uh, uh, those that ascribe to leadership and honor its authority, that the nation is blessed, the land is blessed, and thus the people are blessed. And so today is very significant in that it is a uh, office of the president and vice president ordained proclamation uh, lining up again with the order of uh, the authority that has been placed upon us by our creator God, by the order of the people, by virtue of votes we have garnered this day. And so let this proclamation bless the people in the land all across the Netra, as we know it, but also those that uh, subscribe or are members of the great Navajo Nation May they be blessed as they live in metropolitan areas where their careers have taken them. And as we honor those that have passed uh, from this world into the next, let us take this time to use this crucible of, of what this experience in this pandemic has, has taught us. President Jonathan is and I have always been about if we have to be isolated, if we have to be quarantined, per se, if we have to be uh, taken out of uh, the normal existence of our everyday lives, then let's become the better for it. And we have certainly ascribed to that thought and that mentality. And so as you follow the leaders and uh, give them the authority in your lives to govern you, to rule over you uh, in a positive, good way, then you will be blessed as well. And so we thank you again, all of the aspects of our faiths that are gathered here today in this virtual ceremony. We set forth the blessing way to honor our creator, but also to uh, order again the people in, in its uh, uh, jurisdiction and its authority. And so we don't take that lightly. And so today, again, by honor of those words, which if you'll remember the words of our creator created this world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So words are powerful. Maybe an encouragement to use those words to frame the uh, life that you wish to live. And so as we're obedient to our creator God, he orders our steps. He gives us the lengths of lives that we'll live. He'll give us the honor of having children and grandchildren as we honor him. And so as our nation receives and sets itself in a trajectory of a reset in our mentality, in our spiritual holding today, let this be the reset that our nation needs to go forward, to continue to be blessed, but also to continue to be obedient. And if we're a little vague or if we're a little gray in this area, may us May we all subscribe to uh, the, the proper order in which a nation is blessed. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And so as we line ourselves up, let the nation be blessed. And so this proclamation has weight. It has brevity. It has authority with it. And as we read and you see here how we wish the best on our people. So let the nation be restored by your prayers as you join us all in praying for the nation and its people. 
And a, a, a quick reminder that, uh, you know, as we love our creator God with all our mind, with all our heart, with all our soul, the second greatest commandment is to love our neighbor as ourself. And so today is certainly indicative of that as we reach out across virtual land, as we reach out across the nation, a nation within a nation. And certainly the leaders have all spoke this fine day, this beautiful day, March 19th, 2021. So I appreciate you. Thank you for the time. And at this time, I'd like to uh, introduce Madam Chief Justice of the Navajo Nation, Joanne Jane. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Tabahin Slink in your Annie Bashish Chin. Ada Tura Chini Edasha Che, Ada Tabahin Edasha Nella. Two Hatch and De Ade and Yisa Nasha. Yat A Shik A Doshidne. DJ A Ya Sotazin Um Bahold A. DA Nijone Ya. Hardani hit the ne A Ya. A Ya. A Titil Ya got A Ya. A condishi a ya outla mihahalo Ado a ya Choho ini stone he had lo Hala a lily will yegi a in hahalo and hit a yin a ya ni hena a Dan hit zeal dog do shinto Nasco yig hago yig hago Zonashi at a deal neat ya Hala di a ya Nikiti yin and hit hello. Ado a ya, Nikiti yin a ya. Um, but it yelled here. Go el ya, ha el ya. So the zin, ha el ya, ha el ya. So he had the a ya, Nikiti schneido, shed the net out o a toshik a store. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen who are out listening to us at this time. I am the Chief Justice of the Navajo Nation, and it is a blessing that I have been bestowed that honor to, to have that as a you all time of mighty change that we are going through. We have been patient in our afflictions. We may be asking ourselves at this time, how are we going to live? How are we going to move forward? And we have to take a look at ourselves that we have done great. We have done good. And we have respect and peace. And we have prayers for all of our brothers and sisters that have moved on. It is possible to give thanks for the trials that we have gone through. And we believe that we have gone through trials at this time. However, let us focus on our blessings. Let us focus and not push away our blessings, but let us focus, let us not focus on what we have today. My nephew recently stated to me and to us, and he said, let us hit the pause button. Let us, recognize our blessings at this time because we are a blessing in someone's life. We are the blessing in our own lives. We are the blessing to our family, to our friends, to our nation, to our colleagues. And most of all, we are blessings to our children. Our children are listening. They are the jewels of our life. They are the blessings of our life. And it is for them that we are setting the example. It is, it is through them that we find joy. They are looking up to us to be the warriors. They are looking up to us to say, mom and dad, brothers and sisters, my teacher, they are happy today. And so it sets an example for them. Although we do know that we may have trials that we are going through but we have to be strong. Let us relish life. 
let us relish life as we live it and let us do it through this journey that we have. Let us be grateful for the abundance that has been bestowed upon us and the abundance that is present at this time. We have love, we have our health, we have our family, friends, we have our work, and we have uh, Mother Earth. We have our water, our animals, our sheep. We have an, other animals, plants that we have that we are very grateful for at this time. We have the joys of nature that surround us everywhere we look, everywhere we go. The netka ay yesena jono go ata. Our dene tka is is so beautiful. It is it is. It has so many blessings within the four mountains, within our four sacred mountains. We have so many blessings also outside and we include, we are inclusive of our Diné that have um, chosen and are away for, for jobs or for whatever reason that they have and they're not with us. But again, we all know that our heart is always here on our land. So at this time, let us experience the happiness that we do have and yet also remember that we do have a future and that we do have hope, we have love, we have faith. And then also we have charity. We have a love that has been bestowed upon us by everything around us. And with that at this time on this Navajo Nation Day of Prayer, let us make the most of today, and let us make the most of the here and the now. Chief Justice, thank you so much for, for providing those words. Adonana Shiyajdo, Shinai, President, the Vice President, Ado. Honorable Holland, thank you so much for, for all those words this morning. We would like to continue with our agenda and move forward. Uh, we would like to ask if the speaker is online. Speaker, Damon, are you online with us at this time? I just want to take a few minutes of time just to say thank you very much for being with us on this beautiful day. Rosalind, I am going to um, move over the mic to you as we move forward with our prayers this morning. Uh, good morning again, everyone. Thank you, Yvonne. And I really appreciate the comments from our Navajo Nation leadership. And, and all of the leaders throughout the United States, including comments from the president and the secretary of interior. You know, it's been amazing uh, to be part of this, this process uh, through this past year. It has certainly been a challenge. We've had many, many hard days, but I cannot say enough for the leadership of the Navajo Nation. I cannot say enough for the, the leadership that was exhibited uh, and the direction that was provided to us almost on a daily basis by President Naz. He has been a tremendous uh, warrior uh, for the Navajo people in everything that we have tried to do. We have worked side by side with the nation. And I'm, re I'm, I'm more pleased as being part of the Indian Health Service, part of the Navajo Area IHS, to work collaboratively with our tribal partners as we should. And I think that uh, as, as time passes, we're gonna reflect back and realize that that our true strength is working together. We also know that during this time, many of our families, our friends have been impacted. Every Someone knows everyone that, that has been impacted by COVID, uh, either positively or negatively. And so uh, a day of prayer and, and words of encouragement is what we are trying to share with you today. With that, I also want to share that I, I'm a person that, that grew up with prayer. I was raised with, in, in a, in, with prayer from my parents, 
my grandparents every single day that was part of our lives. And, and also the words of encouragement was a part of my life through my, through, through, from a little girl to, to where I am today. And, and today I rely on those words. And so with that, I'm very pleased to be part of this to, to, to bring together the different uh, beliefs that we have within the Navajo Nation. And so uh, with that, I wanna turn it over to Avery Denny to do, uh, to provide his words as well as a prayer for us. Mr. Denny. Oh, God, eh, and so, a dear. She cared or she didn't bear dark egg it up. I'm in Round Rock area, look at you, at my home. I'm sitting inside my hogan. So, yacht eh, from here throughout the whole world. What the two? And um, a lot of the things that are being said is good. John Healy moving forward and helping our nation to rebuild, reconstruct, and what is necessary as a Navajo individual. Navajo people as a nation. And um, I always reflect, reflect to a story to back in May, 1868, May the 28th, May the 29th at Fort Sumner when General Sherman came onto the POW camp there, as soon as she, as soon as he stepped off the stagecoach, he ordered to meet with the chief, Barbancito, came in, sat down, and they had a conversation through translators. And Sherman noticed already that. Navajos, the Neh, we had a, a language, we had our tradition and recognized that. And, and at the same time, he said, and I quote, you as a Navajo nation, you have your language. You have your way of life. You can heal. You can doctor. You can feed. You can educate, teach. You have ceremony. You have your traditional ways. But it's not here. It's way back over there where you come from your sacred mountains. That's where you originally are from. So you are a nation. You have sovereignty. And um, what if you don't speak Navajo and you are Navajo, do you have sovereignty? No, uh -uh. you got to speak Navajo in order to keep this land, in order to heal your people. We can't be dominated. We can't be so what acculturated. We have still have to have our hoka, our tools. So that we could say, so we could say, not the stash, yat ehn so that's what I want to share with you today, this morning. And I'll go ahead and do 
my prayer. After a short time that's limited for me, I'll share with you a song. And when you, this is all of us, indigenous, Navajo, singing. And if you know the song, sing along. Hey, Naya, we yaki hit the shot, 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 or lie, nay, not yet, they is on the Kalash in the shank, or we yaki hit the shot, we yaki hit the shot, or lie, nay, all the best is hit the yak, all the dish cake, or we yaki hit the shot. Hodonko, <laughs> Linda 
Epstein als Hotter hat die Idee. Bekehrte Betrayade konnte ich erinnern, jene, da hat sie ein Sekes, ist es, als je ist es, Keia ist es, Tohen, Nchia ist es, Tiet Art in der Bijete, Bato, Bitsage, Nlekojgo, Naho Kospiago, Ndotli. Naho konspiyako yana hol rach net na hol rach hol yego ya bis enda yis kadoli bis enda chip bis enda es ladoli yana hol kis net na hol kis hol yego ya bis enda es lado bis enda chis kis doli na ye ya dan ki nihisi yitzi yitzi shen chaha shen chaha. Ha 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 Hayos Kasna hot eight is no hot switch has kit na hot lichi Ben hik inadet is lashi be a j et zeal and sekes yin nipit zeal be it ha hot oat nishi be na oat se be hatast e na oat lishi and the da e be yin nich enna hot in sene that the tol to Kote e ya e ne he ran bi ye kon ya handet ot lash. Kon kon el tle honesh ki stroch e yan se laje. Kote tsesk e haz aje pek e det ot lash, bin det ot lash. Kote ne he sote zen he yin he ot lan ha al chenet. Dode ne he tso ken he nale ke el tso mek e det ot lash. Kote a mato o je e ne tle. A cheto o masan a has tui nitli. Ado a mayaja nitli kond. Nihik edet otla. Tite et tintin bigitje nane katodil. Shahashke bigite hatikha. Kote. Nihia estate. Kote. Nteni bil. Quite so does the Behati set out nana nati titna. Talk hot on snazape, ne nati tilt as a ton snazo don snazape. E cotot is chido net nish. Peta nani keto hojo, hot zilde. Nihis last adolis. Nihisato patate ti kata he. Nihi yin dot ni sotus and dot ye ot lato. Osh binil khato lil. O oh ni itet o o khashin o betel ito lil. No ho khate neti yinti na eh ni tlene. Di te pe ni hik edet o tlak kwe. Na kha anna hote no zil konte. Anna a be nah ni be zete khane khe. Lego also a big caro. Quer a tony he get it lato a ditchy. Ne trajahot any jeppy in it lado. At this head sold all this hay. No hot il tot all this net zit all this. Did the pet a hot in dead arts hot at nature, Rojon told this. Die in den Ende der Tate, bitch is so der Hotte Sende, bitch in der Aukate. Hast du die in nichts, die in der Aukwitschen, 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 die in der
ato nan setigin ni hits is be hatinit ego ko de nani katolil be ni hits il todlil ti de pekako ta hatigin de at de ni hits ko jon hasli ko hol atolil ho jon hasli ko jon hasli ho jon hasli ho jon hasli Hot up any cash what all this. Bansa case told this. I need the nanny clay. Do it or eat neither, do it or eat in the. Not any gelon, the napats is zain dolish. Hat hardly gelon, the napats is zain dolish. Ado art is in an estate, as she we need Navajo psychiatrists, Navajo psychologists, Navajo herbologists, Navajo hathali. That's what we need. We need to use that Navajo knowledge, Navajo science. Honso be has tit or let it not a dilzil. Net is it not a dika. Nahachin be he see she. Nas not a data will ya none at all. A hana the hot in ills and all. A shiga not a dilzil cut. So a hot eight or the Ado Hajashe or the leaders had Nashe Haji did. Jonathan Ness, a Haja, and the daughter is at the cut or the lawyer, a anach yet at eh? Chani Ecoto, Hate Zine, Pilkate Zine, Johot eh? Aho, ya, touched on the egg it eh? Ah, consoy. Thank you, uh, Mr. Denny. Thank you very much for your prayer. Uh, thank you for, for those kind words as well. Uh, now we're going to move over to the faith base. Uh, Reverend uh, John Nails, this is a family friend. So I'm very pleased to introduce uh, Dr. John Nails. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, been a good morning to each and every one of you who are connected in some way. Yeah, it's a good morning. I see Nils out of the consulates in Barney Kagi. Shay ya Johnny Nails, that's a chin, Tisto, Arizona. Not a teen. It's set non a teen. Shay's in beat a John Nahonel Ade Ade Ste. A shay don't end. I don't a new bashes chain. Tash chid a shinale. Lord had cheat me, that should say. But out there, Hunz and all it. She taught me Lana, Hayeta, Boko, a hot egg, or gonna be Hunz song. Sat on him strike a big egg or quite yet. When the COVID 19 pandemic came onto the world scene, we thought it was only in the foreign fields. However, unknowingly that came among us on our Navajo nation. The March of 2020, yes, we admit that we were confused and especially to experience sickness, illness that came upon our society and became real. We began to experience shutdowns and many people began to lose connections with one another. Seems like some people just drop out of contact with one another, immediately due to fear of contracting the virus. We secluded ourselves. Again, we lost connection and over time, we began to adhere mainly to the adherences from our health care promotions. The impacts are too varied 
you describe. Quando eu te questiono, não estás a dar Nabahonikayapakak. <laughs> in biblical history, it has recorded events and stories of accounts of God when such tragedies like we've experienced happen. The stories of God's providence, of God's care. His salvation has always brought on victory. Somebody said even the word history really means his story, the story of God looking back into the account. Even the Treaty of 1868, yes, that's history, but that's also God's story, history. I want to reference the account of God's people. They were in slavery. They were taken from their country into a distant land. God's people have become slaves and they were in dire need under the kingship of Pharaoh, the story of Egypt. God's people were in captivity. They were under the thumb of a King Pharaoh who constantly, constantly given them trouble. But God appointed a man, selected a man called Moses to lead his people out and bring salvation. God finally convinced Egypt's king to let his people go. And as they were released from captivity, God was there with them. During the day, he provided a pillar of cloud, so they don't, don't have to be under intense heat. During the night, they were under a pillar of fire, so their way of journey was lighted for them. Sako Jesus in Nila. Jesus did many other things as well. 
If every one of them were rich and down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. Moses should the net eddy is other, but on the dish ne. Is that e is what ought me? Ah, the Sajile quay ill me. O coco hakea ha go the hunchy na coco. Jay go cos hak ill to halaj ill to hak ipolo. Hala yego se napon chicoco. Hala yego chiho ninjo net London. God's story says that they came across came to the Red Sea. But soon after they looked back and the Egyptian army, the best of soldiers were behind them coming after them. The sea was before them. The great army was now behind them. They were sandwiched in between with nowhere to escape. But we must remember in spite of their situation. That we must remember that God did not build a bridge for Moses and the Israelites, God's children, to walk over from their situation. You see, Moses said to the people in Exodus 14, verse 13, do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Oh, what words of comfort when they were in a destitute place. Just as a record of what a cheek. but I know go but it doesn't do beha a yee beha a dahi. This chip at all, Nikis don't need that nil keys. Moses said, I will. The Lord said to Moses, digging Moses each a hanana see. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell my people to move on. Raise your staff 
and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Exodus chapter 14, verses 15 and 16. Begin God, Moses, it's a hot sick on it. Hot is been yes, it's a drop out the neck on chuck. Should the never be chicken see nas yet or less, tit or less. Nickishin did king yet controbage no. Nakan den lack of cobbage a hunt see yet chalky as aunt all cross. A car a horse sago set none to. The young guard con not in the jaws set none and not unhardish little thin meat. She pet zilly gape shot a no sea go. Hiye, pitch a hunt see to a don't need it shot. The embezzled nest in cocoa or what's that? A hot say set none to set none to as they traveled, as they journeyed across the Red Sea, and it was parted, and they saw deliverance. They saw on the other side of where they were going to go. Sure enough, just like God said, the sea parted, they went across. And let me tell you, that is tremendous. And I encourage you, for joy waits on the other side of the parted waters. God gives us the ability to walk through our situations. He even walks with us today of where we and where we have been. You and I have the hope to endure and the gracious opportunity to experience joy and peace that is waiting for us on the other side. Keep pressing on. God is with us. Good days are ahead. God knows what we've been through and knows right now where we are at. Hebrews chapter 15, verse 5, the word of the Lord says, For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is inviting you and I to take hold of his hand, depend on him, for he said in John 14, 6, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hebrews <laughs> In the dot asadi, Nikitish Nita, Nikis Hun Shondol. Jesus is thought in the jam, Bizab Elbic as Shake Howard Z, Shakonet in Shne, Shit Ah Nin in Shne, Shet in Nanshne. A head at Ot Hado Gath, she shaked ail. Dolobe Hahonini, Shit the Nashic Eno Sini. Let us pray. You God Almighty, we come before you. There is none like you. You have the ordinances of your creation in your hands. You have been before us and you are with us today. And tomorrow on, the future 
is also in your hands. You have the whole world in your hands. The in God, your entire line, can't change the or escape it. So that the sun is set. So that the sun is not yet lost. Nella, ah, so that the queen, la, nella, so that the queen sing. Nella, can't do that. Go, nerede, be ni kre, ni swanlonde. Ah, what ego teach ni swanlo. Ado can't, ado di ol kisi be do what she is do. Is can't do sto be no ni. Ke yatana dasnde nlek es lago be nha konenzen. Therefore, God, we acknowledge your presence. You have been with us the last 12 months. You have been with us in our fears, in our anxieties. You were there with us when there were no more chicken noodle soup in the grocery store shelves. You were there when we couldn't find hand sanitizers and hand wipes in the stores. No more Clorox. No more paper towels, and not even toilet paper was to be found. But you were there with us. You were there when our loved ones were commissioned to hospital beds. We could not visit them. We stood outside the hospital windows trying to wave. You were there with us. When the doctors and the nurses informed us that our loved ones probably would not make it, you were there with us when we got word that they had expired. You were there with us. You were there when we silently buried our loved ones. You were there with us when we went to pick up family members that were given now permission and discharge from hospitals when they overcame the virus onto recovery. Thank you, God, for being with us when we quarantined at home and recovered from the effects of this virus. We acknowledge your presence with us. นี่คนละโลกนะตาหนิซึนนักกิจอาตาหนิเกนตาเดซลันเกนะเคลาดีเฮติชีตีนี่ดอฮอลเยนิเฮกิลตะโกเยนิคิเตซลาโกคอนโ
put blame on them. Forgive us for getting upset against our council delegates and demeaning them, even making up stories and against them. Forgive us, God. Forgive us of our wrongdoings, even doing ill against our neighbors. Forgive our sins. We desire right relation with you. Honorable President Jonathan Nez. I showed in Habaji Napa. Vice President Maya Rin Lizer, I put it. Because in the shield in the shed, because I had to see it zile. I showed it in the Hanacho Quinley. In the Nikita Nebus Keho needs any. I showed Nipa gate A needs Archer Quinley. And I did it in the Stone Thank you, God, for our frontline workers our essential workers, our professional health care workers, doctors and nurses. Thank you for our Navajo Nation police officers. Thank you for our EMTs and entities like the Navajo Area Indian Health Service or who advocated for us on our behalf. Our hospitals, our health care facilities. Thank you for the many ministers pastors and faith-based groups who never gave up praying 24 seven. And we have many, many people to thank, but most of all, thank you God for your presence. As we look, day, look forward to days of recovery, of healing to normalcy. Yes, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Watch over us, be with us. May we focus on you because you are always available to us. John chapter 14, 1, Jesus, you said, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe, trust also in me. John, I don't need to be getting in at that sun. The young God, but that's in a figure, they not la. She thought she had a shot that's in a figure, does she not la? God heal our Navajo nation. We ask that every home will experience joy. They will experience laughter once again. We will hug our loved one once again. Restore us. I pray this in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we look to you. Amen. Thank you for the privilege and the honor. Thank you, uh, Reverend uh, Johnny Nell. So we appreciate your words and your prayer. Thank you for those. Uh, next, we're gonna move over to the Native American Church asking uh, Mr. Gerald King. Go ahead, Mr. King. Mr. King, are you on the line? Hang on. Yes, I'm on the line. Go ahead, please, sir. Oh, yeah, it happened. I think it's now. I think it's Ozeta 
Nebe in the Hosong Gosadla, Nan Mr. Kaz and the Akona Satta Atra Ega Sad Behit, the to Sotazendo. She don't need to eat a big aho. Quite beach a travel slum. Ado Atlanta Ega, the Nebe Washington Kaz Ando. Large, you don't care on the honey, do it in dad, and she get out, out, so she have a dinny dolly. I don't eat ya Washington, is it? It has an do. I don't dunt on in the Washington, go hold ago. Each had a sea do. Go to it has an day, I did, that it I had done lending, that each had a sea. I call it out, so she had. I don't add Sunday, there's a thing about an is not be cannot learn as no go. I do Kaya, Abbot Ochito, Hoando, Inanas Lago. I don't let the daughter who is our Kaya as I did not snap as a aunt, she called a cot ill. A cogo, she ya a the Nebinahara. I do eager a zip in her, a zip is all the zip her turn. I do not can be so laggy. I do all in Dan Lenigi, be in Strap. Ah, at six feet when snow dance put our idea for the stout, our cot elbow, send it as needle, stand off, a good obviously a whole up. A cogo, I do nana e. Let me show the way he do come, my little way he do as do a tranasta, I understand. A co a cot hour, e oat lanin slip. Digging banal a do, a trahi dona has sah. So e cot hour, e ya e nan shodna. A co epic out e ya e the yaha e anito di o a hippie ye cheap. Nick e don hidden there. E cohort e dan a do stain. Who by your dad, he gives me. So stood in the echo hat or she did ya. He tracked me though, if it's ado, or you and a hot is a lee. Though it's ado, a chin that we eat a has lee though. None of the subject that has lee, though called a whole no other sap. Or you had a good ya. A chase in stood at the end of the sap. Bandat, you get hit a horny, ye can dark cut. In in a dot's in a has ad. A co eh? A la a large egg is high, you see a ya eh? The care that has stayed diggy. So it an elni. Had our sheet a ya, Hashin Zashi, they in that that old lessened eh? He owned the house crescently. So he could answer. A condition eight of our young net is she a bear net or she for hunty. I would also hold this. Nana pebbed out it, you eat a cadatis, cadok, a tetter horse knee. Toddy just had a big a candan crag it up an elni, so the banadilly, the cratnadilly, the satnadilly. I do ye ha 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 so, at the neck, a cocky big a whole order, so pay in another pay its zeal base and at that. A tiny bit of the little arcade. The yard zeal be her whenever she had a little bit is for no go in a yard or be a bit of old tassiki. So, a nana a zeal be hoker, zeal be so what is it? A so, if you have a pay in, you can't get a 
Ada 
Ado 
እንደ ከብጭ እንደ ሀዝጭ ይሽ ተንሰክስ በዛ ተና ተዶዳ ኦ ኢደ ዶዳ ኢጻጣ ሀሽቲ ኮ ሀብጭ ዳ ሀዝጭ አጥ ሰበነ ዲ ዶሊ ሀስቶይ ተሳን ደባ ተሃኛ አኮ ተሆል ሰጣቲ ቲች እንደ ፔኬ ጋ ኮ ኮታ ሀትራሲ ዳን ለና ሀታን ለሽቲ ቴክ ሄንደ ደጀን ታይ ቢክ ሀሽቲ ኮ ሂቄን ጀደነ ዘዘጣ ሰሰት ዘባን ኒት አዶሊ አጻ ተሆል ነውቶ ቃጢ ጅዶ ቺቶ ቲ ጸሳ ይንዶ ታስኮ ፐርሰናቲ ጅዶሊ ፔሳኒ ጅዶሊ አሄን ኪጺ ከሃኒ ጅዶሊ ሰና ሄኒ ጅዶሊ አኻጂኒ ጳጦሊ አኻኻኒ ጅዶሊ ዩታ ሄኒ ጅዶሊ ኹጣ ደ ያሶተ ደሲ ኳን ቸን ደዶሊ ወጀና ሆደውትለ ወጀና ሆደውትለ ወጀና ሆደውትለ ወጀና ሆደውትለ ሆጀን ሀስሊ ሆጀን ሀስሊ ሆጀን ሀስሊ ሆጀን ሀስሊ ኹጤ ዶሊ ሸማ አዶ ነሽ ቄት ሀሀሲ ጎ ሂሀ for your words of encouragement go to the z in lagi ahia adonana shiyaj mr nels do shinai avery ahia thank you so much for your prayers this morning ahia in sago ana to to kwa those michel van dongi those of you that are listening out there in internet country ahia i just want to share with you a uh, a very quick slide here if you those of you that are listening if you can go to the navajo department of health website as you can see that on screen or up on the top you'll see the address if you can go there there you go thank you and if you can go straight to covid-19 and if you scroll down you'll see mental health resources equabaca if you click on that you're going to be able to see some of the resources that we have here on the Navajo Nation if you need to talk to someone if you're a veteran if you're thinking about depression suicide or if you just want to talk to somebody there's a crisis text line there that you can utilize adonana without i mean as you scroll down all of our Navajo Nation service units and 638 units all of their numbers are there the department of uh, behavioral mental health services we have all of our 638 the navajo treatment center for children and their families with social services the division of behavioral mental health and then our community health representatives so please if you can take a look at this website i encourage you to take a look at it at your leisure you don't we don't you don't have to rush through it with me right now Adonana de Arizona de no Utah Adon de Mexico de we have partners state partners that are also coordinating mental health services for us if we want it if you live in Arizona you can contact the resilient Arizona hotline if you live in New Mexico and you want to talk to someone and there's a there's a there's services there at no charge and the same over at Utah Strong Recovery Project. I would all the Arizona New Mexico do Utah but he they finish. I would all a uh I just wanted to share this with you. Uh each and every one of you thank you again for being with us here this morning to all of our leadership and mostly to those of you that are listening today. As we as we keep walking and as we continue each and every day we have to keep our heads up keep our heads up and do the best that we can with our faith our good thoughts our good hearts and we lift each other up every day and we see beyond the we we see beyond the challenges we have to look ahead like that she can't do shit now we have to 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 get past the many challenges that are before us but the one thing that i really want to say thank you to each and every one of you for is that even through challenges we grow and through hardship we do grow 
So to each and every one of you in all your prayers, Gebek El, Hut El, Echahat Nechet the Deshnit on Alto, Shijede, Nikitwan Lo, E, Ntrago, Bahihinsen, Echahat. I'm going to move over to. Uyate, Ade, Tashi Simulsa, Chi Alba Esofsagi, Sheya. Not often a catchy in Shle. Aro Tapaha Ega Bashishi Aro Trashi Edashi Kia Ani Edashinala Aro Ega Nave Jada Trotafne Ade Oegis Nasha. Aro e ya na ve tisto e ti se vida ka e kwa e shavan a ti bako aro e ya kwa e nashin shavu Winslow Indian Healthcare Center traditional practitioner ma ya ve ya beshto chau ka e ki nashin ako e ya slaka wa nashin ahi ako ta e ya hinchi te hansi do te na nashin ki do te na chaku Ladies and gentlemen, whoever is listening out there, my name is Thomas Edison Yazi. I am a Winslow Indian Healthcare Center traditional practitioner, and I've been working here for five and a half years now, a little bit over five. So I was. Uh, it's a privilege and honor to do your closing prayer today. Uh, we covered a lot today. And then uh, we're almost uh, uh, talking my own language. I use this power language only if necessary. I communicate with our holy ones only through our own language. And then I'd just like to thank uh, all the people that are involved here. Chichi, not on, not on, and Damasini, President, Aro, Vice President, Aro, Eya, Nerede, Naha, Gernal, Gernal, Nahada Satahagi, the lady that is uh, helping us here, and also the, all the people that spoke there. Um, this is the first time I met you, but uh, thank you for your your input on today's prayer. Aro shishna ash the evil she had to aro shishna ash she that is to be Gerald. Aro shishna ah that he ash she that is Mr. Neil. Yeah, good to hear from you again. Aro iya kwat a iya kwat again. She doesn't sleep on this. So we are going to be able to get the Winslow Indian Healthcare Center. We are and and <laughs> And the Nadaska is key, Nadasan, eight. Let her out any is key in the Unstanian eight. 
Na Nizala Tratoi, watching her hard at all. 
Nizade uh, good morning again, everyone, and thank you again, uh, Mr. Yazi, for that. We really appreciate everyone's participation. Again, this is Rosalind, so uh, calling or, or um, speaking with you again. I am the co-host with uh, Ms. Yvonne. Uh, we appreciate your time. We appreciate all of the presenters today, all of the efforts that are continuing to be made. We th this is a series, and so we will continue to be we will continue to provide resources to you, make time to try to gather your comments. And, and we're also looking for feedback in terms of how we can improve our communication with you uh, in, in whatever way possible. So I wanna thank everyone again today. I wanna thank you especially for your time and we appreciate your uh, staying with us for this time that we had. So yeah, thank you. Shikedo, she did not. Sado, so the Zindo Sinbe Hostiaco. Thank you so much on behalf of not just me, but all of those that are listening. Shikedo, she did not. Those of you that are out there that took your time to put your phones away, put it down, and share this day of prayer. Day of prayer. I just want to end with one comment and then we'll go ahead and close our day of prayer as uh, my brother and Shiyaj Donana Shiyaj, as they stated, it's any time, any place. It's in this home or at home or out there in our environment, our natural environment. Please take the time to today, tomorrow, the next day to just be humble enough to we all on We're all children of our DNA world. So we just want to thank you to everybody for being with us this morning. And we appreciate everyone's um, encouragement and continued resilience. Yeah. Uh,